Criticade! Welcome back to Criticade! Yeah! Uh, the only show where uh, we roll a ball. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> no. You, you think we're ever going to find something where we can legitimately claim we're the only show that does something? Oh, uh, we're the only play, uh, show that, that made it to the end of Alice Manor's Return. <laughs> no, because I think PewDiePie bitch. did this game. Well, yeah, there's a Let's Play Alice Manor's Returns t-shirt, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah, there <laughs> did is. Did you forget about that? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. Some but uh, I don't know if... I actually don't know if Pewds finished it. Who cares? So I should, <laughs> I should find that out. He probably didn't. He probably didn't. This what? game is hard to... Grit your teeth and go through. Yeah. Like, we're doing it for the meme. <laughs> yeah. So that we can say, so that we can show up to people and be like, and our with let's our play let's play. Yeah. I actually legitimately <laughs> want to buy one I of those. I do too. Let's do it. Oh, God, we should. Let's wear those in public do together. That. Yeah. <laughs> and then should we go to like a convention like, and fuck? wear Criticade t-shirts? Yeah, we should. We should, if if we, if we ever go to another Game Grumps Live, wear those t-shirts yeah. and hand out Criticade flyers. We should. <laughs> you jest. I'm but not, yeah, I'm joking, but we should do it. We should shill ourselves like I shill Wonder Woman. Yeah. That's a yeah. callback to an earlier <laughs> earlier Criticade episode. Jacob, yesterday. flashback. <laughs> <laughs> it's yesterday's episode. Yeah. <laughs> So, what would uh, you do if uh, Darth Maul came into your house, kidnapped your family, put a, put his laser sword up to your, your mother's head and said he was going to kill her if you didn't join his team? What are you talking about? His team for what? His team for killing the Sith. For killing the Sith? Yeah. His team for, for, for getting revenge on Obi-Wan, too, as well. <laughs> I don't know. Would you be I, mad at him? No, he's kind of a pussy. He dies in a pussy way. I, I actually haven't seen it. In the real... Oh, no, no, no. That's oh, in, in, in just episode in, one. Just in episode one. Yeah, he does kind, die in a pussy way. He's pussy, man. I don't know. They, they try, he looks so badass. And he, he does, does a lot of flips and shit, but... Well, he he's nothing... Like, I love how the concentrated effort in the Expanded Universe is to make Darth Maul <laughs> nothing like yeah. he was in... in <laughs> I know. Because he talks a lot. Right. Like, he talks... More than any character. Exactly. But in like in the prequels he's just like, ah, I'm a silent badass. What is badass. the point of this right now? There isn't. You just you just have to sit and wait yeah. until it lets you do it. Yeah, exactly. Why, why would they design that? <laughs> because they're not good at designing, Robert. I what? feel like we have covered this point. No, Jacob, stop. That, <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Open, <laughs> Open your mind. <laughs> yes. Mind crush. Let the I hate <laughs> flow through you. <laughs> I oh. am this. Planet. Do it. Do it. Oh, God, that really hurt my voice. Yeah, when I, did. I like trying to do Palpatine, but closing your throat more like as and much as possible. Yeah, more and more as you do his voices. I am this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like at, oh, at first starting off like, Anakin, what do you think you're doing? And then just be like, do it. And then I am the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think that's what Ian McDermott did? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then every day would reset. God, and then Jordan. What about the prequels? <laughs> but Ian McDermott fucking owned those movies. He was so good in every scene. He was. It, it was. Yeah. He he did because really he knew well. he fucking knew it was stupid. I'm sure. I'm so sure. he was just like, let's make this shit stupid. <laughs> oh yeah, something George doesn't have the courage to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> understand that Star Wars is silly and funny. Well, or, or understand oh, that okay. Star Wars is fun. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, no. It's a serious space drama. I do like serious Star Wars stories, though. I, I, do I, too. I feel like once you introduce Jedi, the seriousness goes out the window a little bit. Like, I guess. you can have a serious Jedi story. I don't think it goes out the window. But it's a lot easier to make, like, a. Like. I like a like a smuggler. Story. I think that the I can't make yeah. it up the wall. Let me get back so I can I can't make it up the wall with this momentum. Please. I think uh thank you. To keep your sanity. I think that Star Wars I think the serious moments in Star Wars only work because all the rest of it's fun. Yes. And so when you take out the fun out of everything, suddenly Star Wars becomes pretty shitty. Hey, stop talking about Rogue One like that. <laughs> I disagree that with that. I think Rogue One has fun elements. Nah. Again, I don't think it's the best. I, I, I don't do think, think it's even better than Return of the Jedi. Uh, in early versions of the script, uh, the Darth Vader scene where he's walking down the hallway killing all those rebels, mm -hmm. it was supposed to be the main cast of the movie. Uh, oh. And I think that would have been way cooler. Wait, if, wait, at but the end of the why? 
if the end of the movie, Darth Vader walks in and he just... Oh, and killed the cast. And slaughters the okay. main cast of I the I thought film. you were saying that the main cast was going to kill all the rogues, and I'd be like, why? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, okay, no. okay. Yeah, that would be awesome if Darth Vader was, like, directly responsible. Yeah, like, he's straight up murders everyone. That would everyone. be sick. Yeah, but I don't... Like, they pussied out. Yeah, of course they did. I mean, that's that's kind of the, the vibe of the whole Rogue One is they pussied I, out a little bit. I disagree. Bit. I don't think they pussied out. <laughs> I think there's just... They, they tried to make something unique, and it, it did okay, but it wasn't it wasn't like Star Wars epic. It really invalidated the destruction of Alderaan as a thing in the mythos. <laughs> Why? Why do you think that? Because instead of uh, instead of Alderaan just being like like the Empire is testing their new weapon and they're destroying it, and they're making a show, they just blow up like two other planets as well oh. in Rogue One. They don't blow up the entire planets, do they? Uh, they blow up. They just blow up most of, of Jeddah. Yeah, but... Like, the populated part of Jeddah. I guess. But also, Alderaan was destroyed for Princess Leia's sake. It wasn't just, like, a random planet. Yeah, but it it, it was also... It's also because the, the rebellion was based out of it. It wasn't, though. It, it, it was started... It, it was... The, the rebellion was started by, by Princess Leia's dad. Yeah, but it wasn't... It wasn't at based on Alderaan. I, I, that, point. It was it was started there. It was started there, but that doesn't mean anything. I mean, <laughs> they were looking for the rebel base, and he's like, "Oh, it's on Alderaan," and uh, okay, I'm gonna destroy it. And then Princess Leia's like, "I'm not. I didn't tell you that it's on Alderaan." And he's like, "Yeah, I know, but I'm still gonna blow up Alderaan." Ha ha! You fucking you fucking idiot. yeah, exactly. <laughs> you inherently stupid moron. <laughs> <laughs> what if uh, Darth Vader was just a nice guy? Wait, he is. Wait, Anakin is a nice guy. Yeah, he's supposed to be. No, like he's just corrupted. No, I'm talking about like like a oh like a <laughs> nice guy, <laughs> like a nice guy. Like Princess Leia. Gosh, I've been nice to you. I didn't kill you. Why didn't you give me the location of the <laughs> rebel base? I mean, just I don't know. I uh, feel like kind of talked about the rebel base the entire time we were hanging out. I didn't uh, really get a vibe that we were really friends. God. I mean, how women, right? So, <laughs> like, that's <laughs> Darth Vader's entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he was like, uh, instead of his little, like, like the tip, you know, like the tip of his helmet comes off. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, like you have, like, he the back of it. That. It just <laughs> it flips forward so it looks like a fedora. Uh, I would love that. God damn. <laughs> uh, m- one of my favorite things is... is the the way that, that the friend zone is perpetuated mm-hmm. because it's like it's like a girl rejects someone and never talks to them again and has no intention of ever rejecting them again. Like, <laughs> that's the I got friend, friend zone. zone. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, you're not friend zone. They don't want to be your friend. You yeah. creep them out. And stop. You're fucking. I mean, it's like it's been so co-opted by douchebags who uh-huh. are who are like trying to soothe their ego. Yeah. Like at first it was kind of just like because yeah, I, I d- used it and when I used it I was just like. Uh, you know, she wasn't into me. She, we're just, yeah. she, I'm just in the friend zone. Yeah. Whatever. Well, it was like, it was like, okay. It was for like me, good. B- because I don't have like insane sexual longing. Yeah. Like that's not a thing for me. Yeah. When, when the friend zone, when people started being like, the friend zone is something that people use. For, like, I didn't understand that people were different from me. <laughs> so when people sure. were like, like these guys are just mad because girls don't want to have sex with them. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's what the friend zone is? What? That doesn't I, make sense. I legitimately like, was like, wait, I thought it was just having a romantic connection and like spending a lot of time yeah, together. Yeah. I was like, because I, I never had an issue with like, quote unquote, being friend zoned because it was just like relationships I, are just enhanced friendship. <laughs> and if you think of it as otherwise, then you're kind of fucking relationships up a little bit. Well, no, I, I there are ways to have a relationship that aren't that kind of relationship. Really? Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like friends, like like there's there's like just kind of like sexual relationships. There's friends with benefits, but like there are there are romantic relationships that aren't just enhanced friendships. They have different things. Uh, relationships are complex. I guess. You're but right. you, you know, it's just I, I don't know. Yeah, friendship. Uh, friendship is stupid. <laughs> Friend zoning is stupid yes. because it's. It's not supposed to be a bad thing. It's no, just it's supposed not. to be a thing. Like it's just a normal like, oh, we're just friends now. Yeah, you, like you don't have to to because yeah. I hold their hand and watch yeah. a movie. In yeah, 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 yeah. You can just you can just be chill. And yeah. I mean, like I've been worried about that. Like I went to a movie with a girl. And I was worried that she was thinking that this was a date, and so I talked to her about it. And yeah. Like, no, no, no. We're just friends. And that, yeah, yeah. Like it happens. That's just 
normal relationships. So exactly. the big reveal here is that your therapist is the one who started the fire. You told me that earlier in the Oh, did I? Yes, okay. Did. Yeah. So that's the big <laughs> twist. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, what, what a twist! But there's why did your therapist start the fire? You're gonna find out soon. Okay. Sort of. It, the plot doesn't make sense. It makes sense if you listen to all the audio diaries. No, it doesn't. Oh, did, <laughs> did you listen doesn't. to those? No, I didn't listen to all of them. But it's like the main plot does not make sense. Okay. Like it's just, I don't know. At least I don't think. I mean, comment down below if you think I'm fucking wrong. Yeah, this if is you the greatest really love game the plot of this game. <laughs> I mean, if you're a big fan do. of the adventures of Tim Slurton. <laughs> yeah, Tim Slurton, baby. Tim Slurton rises. Yeah. Uh, what what would you do if uh they remade if they changed all the titles of all of the the Christopher Nolan Batman movies to Tim Slurton, Tim Slurton, uh. <laughs> Tim the Slurton, Tim the Slurton <laughs> and then the Tim Slurton rises. Uh, I'd still be pretty mad. I don't like the naming convention of those. No, Batman I don't. Movies. It's such a bad precedent because they're they're yeah. bad sequel titles. Oh, they're so bad. But like the dark, the Dark Knight Rises is a better sequel title. No, no, no. I disagree. I think the Dark Knight's a good sequel title. Really? Like, yeah, I do. I Bec do not. Because it's it's its own continuation. It's its own movie. It's not like Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back where it's contingent on you watching the first one. Okay. So, it, like, it draws in a crowd of people who are just like, I never saw the first one, but I guess this one's okay. But, I mean, that's fair because the first movie is was much less popular than The Dark Knight. Yeah, but it's still it's still uh, well-received. Yeah, yeah, mostly. A lot of, yeah, most people like it. It's okay. It's, it's I mean, most people... I mean, I, I, I'd say nowadays a lot of people view... The, the Dark Knight Rises as easily the worst one. Oh, for sure. Dark Knight Rises uh, I have not garbage. seen Batman Begins, but I've heard it is just... It's pretty good. It's pretty good, it's but pretty good. very subjective to, yeah. to uh, what you think a movie should be. Yeah, and especially what you think a Batman story should mm -hmm. be. So, I don't know. Um, but Character then, study, and that's my, yeah. <laughs> that's my opinion. But then, uh, but then Dark Knight Rises, they, they pussied out... And instead of Nolan being in control of it, Dark Knight was so popular that they're like, oh, we got to capitalize off that. So now we're going to make a title, a sequel title for the second movie, like for off of the second movie for the third movie. Yeah. And it's just, it's just. And they also just dumb. made the movie kind of just a shitty sequel. Yeah. They also Knight. made the movie bad, which is there. That's a, that's another mistake that you can try and avoid. Who's this man? It's your therapist. Oh, is he? Is he the final boss? Yeah. Is this it? Yeah. Well, we're we're getting there. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> well, after this cutscene, we're gonna have to we're gonna take the take another episode. And is the next episode gonna be the finale? Do you think? It might be. Yeah. Yeah. We'll do that. Oh, let's let's watch the let's watch the cutscene. Oh yeah, of course. That's what I was saying. Yeah. So. So yeah, it turns out that he's been running the train, and he's the one who's erasing all your memories. How is he running the train? <laughs> running the train is Alice's way of of recognizing him hypnotizing her in her therapy sessions and erasing her memory. So, so he burned down her house, <laughs> why? It's not, it, it has to do with Alice's father, like, going up against him. Because he, 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 there's something that's going to be revealed in the next cutscene that I don't want to quite ruin yet. Okay. But, like, yeah, his father was going against him. And he was like, oh, I got to burn this shit down. And then also he's a creep, so he molests her sister. Creepy. Yeah. And then he's like, oh, burn the evidence. And burns everything down. How edgy. Yeah, right? And, like, cool. that's what's offensive. Like, claiming that this is edgy is like, no, this is just offensive and bad. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just a... It's beyond bad, edgy. Yeah, it's beyond edgy, for it's, sure. it's It's just gone to the point where it's just... Yeah, using that ugly. for an edge aesthetic, yeah, it's just it's just bad. But then that's not even the worst part, I think. And do I play as a baby now? No. Thank God. It's happening. Thank God. Basically, he's... Basically, he almost ruins Alice's mind. Okay. This is like her almost becoming one of his babies. All right. Okay. <laughs> does, he, does he have babies? He, he does. It'll be revealed what that actually means on the next episode of Critic Holy Head! shit! <laughs> this game is a pile of duty caca. Yeah, right. 
Hey everybody, it's Robert and Jacob from Criticade, the channel you just watched. Make sure you drop a subscribe. Yeah, so we can make videos and shit. Whatever. <laughs>